Hello everyone. Welcome to Grade 11 Biology, the Animalia Cram Course. In this lecture, I will talk about the phylum Arthropoda and the phylum Chordata. If you have not done so already, um, I got a free app called the Great 11 Biology Animalia Study App. It contains um, lectures, flashcards, and quizzes that are related to this course. It is completely free and it is available on both iPhone and Android. Uh, if you are interested in this app, uh, please check on my website uh, or the description on this video or even in App Store and Google Play to find out more about this app. The phylum Arthropoda consists members uh, such as ants. One distinctive feature um, of this phylum is that the organism contains joined appendages that are specialized for different functions. Um, each segments have special functions such as for moving, eating, or sensing, etc. These organisms usually have highly developed nervous system especially in tuned for sensory functions. Some species even have um, deep social network systems such as the ones with ants and bees. The organisms in this phylum most have exoskeleton designed for structural support, protection, and water loss prevention. They mostly have sexual reproduction and also the organisms in this phylum uses pheromones to attract mates. The waste collected uh, from the organisms in this phylum will later secrete uh, and form crystals. They usually have open circulatory system. The phylum Chordata is most probably is the biggest phylum uh, in the animal animalia category. Uh, some of its members include fishes, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. Yes, this phylum also contains um, us humans. The most prominent characteristic of uh, the organisms found in this phylum is that it has a flexible rod, also known as the dorsal nerve cord, along the back with which muscles are attached to this rod mainly for locomotion. Another distinctive characteristic in this phylum is that most organisms usually contains a tail. So within this phylum there's also a subphylum which is known as the vertebrata. The organisms within this subphylum has a backbone in which they have vertebral column for which the purpose is to protect the dorsal nerve cord. The subphylum vertebrata also contains an endoskeleton that are made of very strong bones. This endoskeleton forms the skull, the vertebrae, ribs, and limbs. Last but not least, um, in this phylum, the organism sexes are usually separate, meaning that um, they have usually have two genders, um, the male and the female counterpart. Uh, they also 
you have a closed circulatory system. Due to the vast amount of animals that are found within this phylum, the next two lectures that I am going to have for you will be explaining the different class of animals that are found within this phylum. This concludes our lecture. Thank you for your listening. Remember, like us or subscribe to our channel for more updates on our lecture materials. Also, download our free app for your iPhone or Android if you have not already done so for flashcards and quizzes that are related to this lecture. Also check out our website um, as shown in our video description on YouTube for apps and lectures for other units. Thank you. Bye-bye.